Armando Stepner, Wikipedia article audio. Armando P. Stepner is a computer engineer and architect who is most widely known for Unix development and for spearheading the native Vax version of Unix, Ultrix, during his tenure at Digital Equipment Corporation. Stetner started working with Unix while at Bell Labs Murray Hill and later moved to DEC where he worked for Bill Munson and with Fred Cantor and Jerry Brenner to start DEC's Unix engineering group. While his focus was kernel development, he also designed and produced the original Unix Live Free or Die license plate and the original Ultrix poster based on Fulfoglio's Unix t-shirt as designed by Mike O'Brien. Originally a marketing promotion. Stidner obtained the actual vanity plate from the state of New Hampshire in 1982 after Bill Shannon left to join Sun Microsystems. With Bill Shannon, Stidner was responsible for establishing near real-time UUCP-based connections between University of California, Berkeley and Duke University through their system known as DECVAX. Stidner later established near real-time that news and email feeds news feeds to Europe, Japan and Australia. At a conference, he relayed the conversation during a budget review with financial department staff of the nearly $250,000 in phone bills attributed to his department's time-sharing computer explaining that these were computers talking. That seemed to satisfy the finance people. Stetner ported Unix to DEX symmetric multiprocessing VAX 11-782 hardware system, though based upon Purdue University's asymmetric kernel. The kernel supported symmetric multiprocessing while not being fully multithreaded and based upon pre ultrix work by Stetner and earlier work by George H. Goebel at Purdue University. There was liberal use of locking and some tasks could only be done by a particular CPUs. This was not uncommon in other SMP implementations of that time. Stetner proposed and led XVAX Unix development resulting in Ultrix 32 and was its architect and engineering manager overseeing the project through its beta trials. Stetner then went to Palo Alto to start DEX Palo Alto, CA-based workstation engineering group under Steve Bourne. There, he suggested the creation of an early collaborative organization for developing open Unix standards as a response to collaboration between AT&T and Sun Microsystems. That organization became the Open Software Foundation. Shortly thereafter, to more effectively compete with Sun Microsystems, Stidner was part of a team of five DEC employees who proposed a Unix-only workstation product line based upon the MIPS architecture. He was one of the original members of the product design team for the MIPS R2000-based RISC-based DEC Station 3100 core design team. Armando later designed a real-time shuttle tracking system using downlink telemetry for Kennedy Space Center as late part of NASA's return to flight program. The system was later implemented by Computer Sciences Corp. Armando left DEC in 1990. He went on to positions in management consulting, as a technologist at Sun Microsystems, in the office of CTO at Aetna, and other positions. Starting in 2000, Stidner went to Seattle to work as employee number three for Paul Allen Estigia. In 2004, Stetner led IPTV development at Digia and from 2006 through 2011 was director of FIAS Advanced Development at Verizon. He then worked as vice president of engineering for Gigabit Squared Semicolon. In 2012 he was one of the technology professionals who signed an open letter opposing the Cyber Intelligence Sharing and Protection Act, 